Hey, what's happening, y'all? Hope everyone is having a lovely day so far. Got another 10 piece chicken dinner today, and we're gonna do it with the surgeon fish. But before I talk about the pet, I wanna thank you all for the support I've been getting on the channel. One week ago today, I surpassed 100 subscribers, and now today that count has doubled. So within a week, 100 people decided to subscribe, which is insane to me. Did not expect to be growing this fast, and I know 200 is not a large number, but I only started uploading a month ago. Not gonna lie, it's kinda intimidating having people listen to you stutter and fumble on your words, but nonetheless, I appreciate you guys. And if you are enjoying the videos, please like the video, it truly helps out a lot. Anyways, I'll start talking about the run. The surgeon fish uses two trumpets to give health to the friend behind, and it's pretty decent in the mid game. By turn 3 you have access to croissants and meat bones, so you can get a pretty beefy unit with a lot of health and attack, and win the games early in the early rounds. However, I think the surgeon fish falls off pretty quick, so I wouldn't advise holding on to it very long. Yeah, we're gonna roll here, I'm gonna freeze two Hercules beetles. Um, I don't have the Hercules medal yet, so I was trying to maybe go for that because all the pets that I have on the field at the moment, I already do have the achievements for, but honestly with the Hercules beetle, you kind of have to have scaling because it doesn't really have an ability you can use, so that will have to come in a different pack. The golden pack doesn't really have a lot of scaling, like it does, but it doesn't at the same time. We're gonna have to use like Husky or Penguin or Poodle to work with the Hercules Beetle. But we got a level 2 African Penguin, which is good because obviously we have the Surgeon Fish that gives attack or gives health. And we're actually gonna sell something for the Sea Lion. And there we find Dory. And we get a Manatee, but or the Manta Ray, but we're not gonna play the Manta Ray. We don't really have the build appropriate for it. Um, I think we sell the guinea fowl if I'm not mistaken here or I'm just gonna freeze the whole entire shop and just roll this team that we have going on because I mean with the um, okay yeah we actually are gonna play the sea lion and our guinea fowl right here is gonna probably win us some games we have a pretty decent team and then um, with the level 2 African Penguin we do have access to waffles in the next uh, tier shop. We're gonna win here so there's four wins already we're pretty good pace and I think at this point I realized that the Hercules Beetle has to go because yeah we just there's not enough scaling in this pack to really make it work. So play another African Penguin, find another Surgeon Fish. And yeah, I actually do roll past another surgeon fish, so that's on me. My dumbass wasn't really paying attention, just auto rolling, not really paying attention. Can't you gotta like a good super auto pets player doesn't um, autopilot, but at times I really do autopilot and just roll. But this time I am going to find the surgeon fish and not gonna roll past it like a dummy and I give up on the Hercules beetle so we get some attack and now we got a level 2 instantly but still don't really have trumpet generation I mean I'm, I'm gonna hold on to the nurse shark because nurse shark is just so busted and if you haven't watched uh, yesterday's video I highly suggest it it's one of my best videos in my opinion um, nurse shark goes brazy absolutely insane Anyways, I think I just like roll a bunch of times here. Grab another surgeon fish and I have three gold so I might as well give something a cherry. And the African penguin at level 2 with waffles is worth sticking around, honestly. The extra attack you get at level 2, pretty decent and still not enough. There's our first law so we have four hearts but we still have a lot of room for error. Obviously don't want to lose but... And I don't know, like this, uh, this opossum has got to go at some point. Um, but I'm kind of greedy. I want to use the opossum for a faint pet. And I actually do have the nurse shark. So there, I finally use it. I finally sell it. It's about damn time. Get another African penguin. Get a waffle. So 
we have a pretty good shop and with the pteranodon we're able to use the nerf shark's ability twice which can win us a lot of games and we already have the level three surgeon fish so on turn nine we don't really have to focus on anything else um obviously our team is not amazing but we do get the level three african penguin so we do have a lot of attack going for us i think guinea fowl goes here yeah get the heck out of here you're no longer welcome um I think I play the African Penguin twice, or do I play the Pteranodon first? Yeah, I play the Pteranodon, play the African Penguins, and Cobra spawns in, but no thank you, I'm fine. And I grab a Nyala just because we actually need more Trumpet Generation. Got two Sea Lions, so we got a level two Sea Lion on deck, and the Sea Lion has been a like an auto pick me in the Golden Pack. I really enjoy the Sea Lion, it's so good. It's so good, in fact, I think the armadillo needs to be reworked because the armadillo in uh, the star pack is just so bad compared to the sea line. And then they're, they're both tier four. So I don't know. I think the armadillo needs a buff or some shit because you need like it's a conditional buffer. Like you need to get hurt with the armadillo in order to uh, give health to your team when the sea line just does it automatically. So, I don't know. I think uh, Armadillo needs a rework. But let me know what y'all think. Um, we're gonna draw there. And we have 5 wins turn 12. And our team is not good. But if we can get this Highland Cow leveled up, then we're kind of in good shape. We're gonna get a Tomato. And there we go. We actually do level up the Highland Cow. So, now with the level 2 Highland Cow, with our Sea Lion giving it 2 health every turn, we have great Trumpet Generation. And now our Nurse Shark is gonna put in a lot of work. And the Pteranodon, I don't need to get leveled up. I, uh, yeah. No reason to level up the Pteranodon. We only have one faint pet, so it doesn't matter. We're going to kill the goose in the back. We have 18 trumpet generations, and right there, 30 health. Bam. Pteranodon makes it activate twice. We win the round there. And if you're struggling to win in the golden pack, just grab yourself a Nurse Shark and Pteranodon, honestly. Um, in yesterday's video, if you haven't watched it, um, the Pteranodon puts in a lot of work with the Nurse Shark. Um, I was on lethal with zero wins, and I was able to win 10 straight using this combination of the Pteranodon and the Nurse Shark. But all I really want now is to get the Nurse Shark level 2 to win games. And we got some Tomatoes, so we got some Snipes on deck. Pteranodon activates twice. Bam. So powerful. So fun. I love this build. We're going to get the level 2 uh, Nurse Shark here. And we're going to give our Pteranodon a Tomato. Tomato is goaded with the sauce. Pretty much gives your pet... Pretty much makes your pet into a crocodile. Essentially. So many snipes. Easy money. Not even worried poop balls you're gonna have to do better than that buddy um now i just try to get the highland cow leveled up and i do i get the level three highland cow so now we have trumpets for days we got a huge golden retriever we got snipes with our level two nurse shark that activates again with the pteranodon our team is snasty and um, I've been playing a lot of golden pack, but tomorrow's video is gonna be a custom pack So if y'all were getting sick of the golden pack Tomorrow's video is a custom pack I'm Not gonna reveal any much further than that, but turn 16. This is the final turn just looking for tomatoes to uh, Round out my team and then yep perfect. We have three gold give our surgeon fish a tomato and let's see how we do. We go up against the Sulking Failures. Come on, man. You can't be that pessimistic. And this is a huge team. I'm honestly surprised that we beat this team. But with the Tomatoes and the Snipes, we got the job done. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, um, comment, and subscribe. That's going to be it for me. Peace out.